Okay, this tutorial I'm going to show y'all how to use the extra characters in a font. Glyphs, or people like to call them tails, or swirls, whatever you want to call them. Um, I'm going to teach you how to use them, how to access them out of your fonts. Um, most of the time, the fonts on dafont.com are do not include the extras. You usually have to buy the commercial version to get all the swirls and glyphs and things. But there are some fonts on Dafont that in, that do include them or include some of them in their fonts. Um, to access them, you need a character map. And I'm on um, a Mac, so Mac includes a character map on the computer. Um, Windows users, you're going to have to download a program like Babel Map. That's the most popular one that I hear of. Um, so for Mac users, which is going to have the same concept, you do the same thing, you just need to download the program for Windows users. So for Mac users, you want to go to your font book. I'm going to use the font called String Light. So I go there. Here it is. I'm under User Fonts. These are the fonts that you've downloaded. And normally it's right here. This is how it pops up usually. This is where you can type a preview. Um, but to access the extra characters, you're going to use this tab right here. Okay, so I want to add the extra tails and swirls to the, this to a word. So first let me type it out here. I'm just going to type my name. And then when you're in your font book, under your font, you need to scroll and find the one you want to use. Um, I did a capital M, but I'm going to use a lowercase m because sometimes, most of the time, the capitals don't really have swirls and things added to them. So, when you find the one you want to use, click, click on it, highlight it, and then you're going to copy it. So, I use the keyboard, um, Command C, which copies it. And then you just go back to your word that you typed, right click and paste, and it adds it there. I'm going to delete that M that I wrote. Let me make this a little bit bigger so y'all can see what I'm doing. And you need to click on this little A to be sure you're in the text, adding the text mode or whatever. Okay, so now I need one for the end of the word for the letter A. Okay, here's the A with the N swirls. Command C copies it. Back to it. Right click, paste, delete the first one. Okay, and C. So there, I've done just that right there. But you can also, like say if I had a K or a P or something else right there in the middle, um, those usually have extra things added on those two. See, so like, see how this H has it on the top, the D, the B, the F, all that. The R doesn't because it's not really a tall letter. It doesn't have extra height to it. So, I should probably try a different word. Uh, let's see, let's do something like together. Together. Let me delete this A. Okay. See, so now I can use the... Say I want to use this T. Command C. Right click, paste, delete that first one. See how it adds that? It just makes it flow and look nice. Or I could have made it go the other way. They have it both ways. Command C to where it goes back towards the front of the word instead of going through that H. Either way, I liked the first one though. So let me go back and put that one back in there. This T. And you see this is all you do. 
and then say I wanted to add the end tails again find the R and find the T with the front with it on the front right there command C paste there see so now it all flows you have extra tails swirls and things see and I think there's even one for this G let's try this G underneath there's that one and there's this one let's try this one command G I mean command C on the G paste uh, don't think I like that but this is just to show you all what you can do with it and then what if you make text in Inkscape <clears throat> you can see it doesn't space out the letter so you don't have to adjust that at all but when you after you're done with whatever you want to do to your words click path object path and then click object ungroup and then you want to go back to path union and now it's one solid piece so when you get into take it to design space it's going to um, be one solid piece you don't have to hit weld you don't have to do anything to it you just have to size it or change the color whatever you want to do to it and then hit make it and you're ready so let me save this just click save okay and now let's go to design space upload upload image browse I saved it as name um, you want to leave a tag always you can also um, type the name of I usually put the name of whatever font I used in the image name that way I know for reference later so it's called string light and then you can type it here as well it just makes it easier to find later click save and now you have it ready to go and then you can just cut it or print it or whatever you want to do to it and then I also wanted to show you all how to do it in font lab pad so if you're here you need to go file open installed find the font you want to use string light together and you do the same things I should have already already have the G pasted copied there see and you do the same thing you just copy and paste copy paste it's really simple oops wrong one really simple to do can get time consuming depending on what you're working on but it's really easy okay and so when you make things in font lab pad when you take it to design space you will have to weld it when you get it here it won't be one solid piece so together add your tag change the name whatever you want to do upload it let me okay so you see how this one is one solid piece and this one you can ungroup it because the letters aren't welded together already so you could ungroup if you wanted to you don't have to though like say you wanted to adjust this make that touch a little bit better and then you want to highlight the whole thing click weld and oops undo that when I have that problem right there where it fills in the letter I like to instead of adjusting the spacing make this zoom out a lot and then make this really big and click weld and most of the time it works and then you can just size it back to whatever you need it to be so 
that is how you use the swirls and fancy letters of fonts. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm here to help. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it.